Mick Jagger. Back in the 60s, he was considered a druggie, a ruffian, an anarchist, and an all-around troublemaker. But now a hidden trove of secret love letters has surfaced that call that reputation into question. ABC's John Muller is here with more. He's quite the ladies' man. Sure is, guys. <laughs> All right, she is a singer and actress who gained some notoriety herself in the 1960s and 70s, but she's most famous for her relationship with that rock and roll icon, a relationship that produced Mick Jagger's first child. Now Marsha Hunt is putting her love letters from a young Mick Jagger up for auction. <laughs> It is a rock and roll anthem, now the woman said to be the inspiration for the song Brown Sugar is kissing, telling, and cashing in. Marsha Hunt selling her love letters from Mick Jagger penned in the summer of 1969. Her love letters from a young Mick Jagger are hitting the auction block. Hunt says she's broke, unable to pay her bills. Sotheby's will auction off her letters in mid-December and they are expected to fetch up to $160,000. The letters from Jumping Jack Flash are said to show the sensitive side of the then young singer in his mid-twenties who wrote about the poetry of Emily Dickinson, among other things. Jagger's relationship with Hunt, who is African-American, was kept under wraps until 1972. It produced a daughter named Caris. Hunt says, someone I hope will buy those letters as our generation is dying and with us will go the reality of who we were and what life was. Jagger also talks in the letters of the disintegrating relationship with Marianne Faithful, who he was dating at the time, and the death of Rolling Stones guitarist Brian Jones. Everywhere I go. Haunt, a high-profile fixture of the London 1960s and one of its prominent and few black faces, is now 66 and living in France. She says, the letters speak for Mick at an incredible juncture in our lives. The summer of 69 was the end of a whole era of revolutionary spirit. We didn't know it. It was about to die. While the letters have remained a secret, the affair has not. The letters will add to a well-documented and well-compensated chapter in rock and roll history. All right, in spite those love letters and the softer side, it didn't last. A bitter paternity battle eventually ensued between Jagger and Hunt. Hunt says she plans on using the money from those love letters to do some much-needed repairs on her home. Save your love letters, guys. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It'd be worth something. I'd be interested to hear his reaction to this. Yeah. Fantastic Thanks, video to watch. It is. It is. He's come a long way. Yeah.